Hello everyone. We got in quite the rare uh, action figures the other day. These are from 1983. These are called Nightmare Warriors. Uh, they're by a company called MTC. I'm trying to do a little more research on them. There's not much out there. Well, there is a current company called MTC. I wrote them to see if they are the same one since they founded in 1984, but uh, we'll find out. Anyway, these are uh, kind of came out during the Masters of the Universe craze, just to show you how tall they are. Got a uh, just about one point. We'll call them one point four Chewbacca's in height average. And um, not only are they weird, creepy skeletons, a couple of them slightly offensive. Actually, we'll be honest, they're they're pretty offensive. There, um, they glow in the dark. So we just thought we'd show them off. I have barely ever seen any of them myself before and seen all six with almost all the accessories that is not uh that does not happen often so we we're really excited to get these in so first up we've got a uh, geronimo and uh yeah that's what they went with unfortunately um not much better poncho villa comes with two pistols and a hat uh, Arthur Lancelot is missing some stuff. He doesn't have his sword with, but that's okay. Also incomplete, we have Spartacus. Now Spartacus looks pretty good with a shield there and sword. However, he does have a fancy red cape that he's supposed to have. So don't know why they went with a cloth cape on just one. We'll go for it. We'll take it. All right, then we got Captain Kid. A little sash, a little sword, a little knife right there. Probably my favorite of the line is Major Bones, um, with his little army helmet, ammo on his belt, and just what I love about these kind of knockoff quick-to-market toys is, like, there's nothing going on on that gun. There's no detail. It's just kind of punched out, practically. It's there. But then, I took the time to make, like, the grenade really good. <laughs> like, the grenade has detail. It's just funny. However, the uh, best part and kind of what's made these notorious now is the glow-in-the-dark paint that is still working. So we're going to shut the lights off now. And as you can see, they still have some glow left. It's not totally dark. A little sunlight coming through, but you can see it's pretty awesome that it's still there. 20, oh gosh, no, 36 years later. Thanks for watching. As of this recording, all six figures are available individually for purchase at HeroicGoodsAndGames.com.